Hey everyone! Today I want to talk a little bit about the amazing Ignite session that Jesse, Dahlia, and Scott gave. They really, really dove deep into the new amazing features in GitHub Copilot and Visual Studio. So today I'm going to share my top five favorite features that were highlighted in the GitHub Copilot and Visual Studio breakout session that we saw this year at Ignite. So yeah, let's dive right in! <laughs> First up, we have some of the vision stuff that was demoed. This feature is a total game changer for handling visually oriented tasks. Here we can see Jesse taking some screenshots of the UI changes that they want to make and then pasting it into Copilot. Um, with Vision, you can just simply paste screenshots of your UI and Copilot will instantly analyze the differences. It processes these images and understands your intention, generating code changes that you would probably need. So this feature is a complete game changer. I think it's so cool. And I think when you're dealing with um, UI changes, it's really, really hard to kind of get into a cycle of going back and forth with Copilot, trying to get it to understand what you need. So I think having the vision capability in Copilot is by far one of the coolest things that was demoed at this year's Ignite session. So as we can see here, Copilot is generating a plan that's kind of giving us a step-by-step -step summary of the changes and just kind of helps us get the ball rolling here. Next, let's talk about Copilot Edit. So this is such a widely requested and cool feature. We saw this feature in action when Jesse was demoing the vision capabilities and Copilot. So this feature takes multi-file updates to the next level. So here we can see that Jesse wants to make changes that could potentially span across multiple files. So only showing this when the user is logged in. Copilot edits makes these large scales changes seamless. Jesse doesn't even need to specify what this was and all they had to say was only show this when the user is logged in. That's amazing. And it looks at the history of the thread when you're sending the prompt. So that's super cool. I think that's the real magic here, how Copilot learns from your conversation history and iterates on these suggestions, making this entire process feel really collaborative. Copilot can kind of suggest changes over multiple files. Copilot edits is a super cool feature. It kind of helps you get the ball rolling when you have a lot of files that you need to work with and Copilot simplifies that for you. So now we're able to sort of see our inline features really shine here. So we we have tab to accept and alt slash to modify. This makes editing your code really, really seamless. You can either tab to accept the suggestions that Copilot gives you or press alt slash to open the inline chat window and keep iterating on the code if you're not super satisfied with it. Overall, the Copilot edits feature is a game changer in keeping you focused when you're making edits to your code. And I'm super glad we got to see this at Ignite this year. Another really cool feature that we saw at Ignite was icebreakers. I'm so glad that we added support for our new users. I feel like getting started using a new product can definitely be overwhelming and kind of not really knowing what Copilot can do for you is not exactly ideal when it's supposed to be your coding partner. With these icebreakers, that makes getting the ball rolling so much easier. With these curated starter prompts like summarize my code or write unit tests, it just kind of gives you a glimpse of what Copilot can do for you and help you with. You can see them in action with just the click of a button. If I'm taking on a new project and kind of want to understand a little bit more on what's going on, I can click on one of the starter prompts and bam, summarize my code. It also teaches me here, like I can reference things. So explain how my code works. I've learned that I can reference a file and I will just submit the prompt and bam, I got started using GitHub Copa at just the click of a button. Amazing. <laughs> Another highlight from Ignite this year was function calling in action. This feature is so cool. It really takes Copilot's ability to provide recommendations to a whole new level, making your experiences that much more hands-off. So as you can see here, we have a bit of a vague prompt. Where is rate limiting implemented? And there's nothing really referenced in this prompt. But as you can see, Copilot finds these four results that are being pulled in and returns an answer. So instead of you manually specifying which file or context to use, Copilot automatically determines the relevant context based on your natural language prompt. It dynamically accesses your open files and project structure, saving you a lot of time and effort. So seeing this feature at Ignite was super, super inspiring because it shows that Copilot is genuinely becoming more intuitive with each update. So this was amazing to see. Last but certainly not least, we have Copilot instructions. It was so cool to see Jesse demonstrate this feature and how it helps Copilot work the way that your team works. Custom instructions allows you to tailor Copilot's behavior to align with your team's coding conventions and communication style. 
Here we see Jesse asking how they can ensure that their code follows their team's best practices. Copilot is going to give a few helpful tips on how they can tweak their code. So as we can see, Copilot suggests to avoid inline lambdas, prefer async and away, and avoid inline styles, and also gives us some updated code that better aligns with the team's best practices. This is extremely helpful because it can be literally so tedious to look through like an eight page document to help you get started. So I think this feature is super cool and I'm so glad we got to see it at Ignite this year. As we can see here, um, you can upload a Copilot instructions.md, so a custom instructions file into Copilot, and you have a helping hand in ensuring that consistency is maintained across your code. This is so flexible, extremely helpful, and going forward, Copilot is going to take a look at these custom instructions and really keep them in mind. So this kind of gives you a layer of compliance that helps you feel more confident in the responses that you're getting from Copilot, which can be so, so helpful. There you have it, five incredible features from GitHub Copilot and Visual Studio that are making a huge impact. From simplifying multi-file edits to embracing your team-specific workflows, these features highlight how AI can both power and adapt to your coding needs, which is awesome. We're so excited for you to try these features out in Visual Studio and see how GitHub Copilot can help you code smarter, faster, and with more confidence. Please let us know which feature you're most excited to try out in the comments. Um, and as always, happy coding.